I remember when I was a mere small YouTuber. I didn't get much attention. I was just that one channel that people see sometime, and then never to be spoken again. But during that past five months or so, I've gained more popularity than I ever hoped to achieve. I thought I would never be able to pass no more than 200 subscribers. At least, not within a year. But I have gained more than double that amount. And now, I feel like I can gain more. Do better than before. People now look up to me to deliver videos, to entertain them for at least a good 20 minutes of their lives. And I am honored to do so. Because while I may not be one of the biggest YouTubers, I have people that love me for who I am, for my strengths and flaws as a human being. I must keep going on now, now that I've gained a meaning on YouTube. It is my duty to seek out stupid things and stupid people on the internet and expose the living hell out of it. Sure, my methods may be a bit cruel, but that is part of what I am. Nothing in the world can change that. It's good to be back at my little whole base of mine. Now I know this is a bit overdue. And yes, the video that I'm responding to is in fact removed from YouTube. But keep in mind, I had this planned for weeks. And I had to come up with an idea to even start this video. But to be honest, I don't get many people making video responses towards me. And this is what makes this video special, especially considering the fact that I am responding to burn coloration. And I remember him getting his ass kicked by official GATG. Now, because this video is a bit long, I may have to divide this video into two or three parts maybe. That being said, let's watch burn coloration get himself burned. <laughs> So this really cool YouTuber by the name of the Atheist Gamer did a response to a friend of mine called Emery Bowman, responding to two of his videos talking about anti-feminism and why he thinks it's kind of bad. I don't think feminism is kind of bad. The word kinda is an understatement. I think feminism is a totalitarian ideology that is nearly equivalent of that of the Nazis. It is basically the dead ashes of the women rights movement that refuse to die. To say that feminism is kinda bad is to say that getting shot in the face might hurt. Now, in the video itself, he's basically, obviously, he's an anti-feminist, obviously, he doesn't agree with it. I've skipped ahead three minutes or so in the video because the first start is basically, you look like Onision. Apparently, it's still 2011, and only Sion is fucking relevant. Oh my god, you fucking advocate feminism. Most feminists are bad because they're third wave feminists. Oh no, Onision, uh, Onision's a dead horse, stop beating on him. Uh. You know who else is a dead horse? I'll give you a good fucking hint. It involves a movement, an outdated movement that is starts with an F. If you haven't figured it out, then you really, really need some fucking help. And you are following this movement without any question whatsoever. Although in the past you did in fact question feminism, which I have to ask, what the fuck happened to you, brother? So, I've skipped that, because it could be, you know, it's easily summed up in 50 seconds. So, let's watch the rest. They've been nice to me, and I was completely nice back. So that that's proof that you don't need to completely sh keep shoving anti-feminism down everyone's throat. Look, just because you've met a few nice feminists, and that's under heavy quotation, doesn't mean that modern day feminism should not be opposed. Keep in mind that I've made over hundreds of videos opposing feminism. Because I really have that little of a social life. What does my social life have to do with anything? What, have you been hacking into my phone and listening to the conversation I have outside of the internet? Oh, just give me a second. 
Hello? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. All right. See ya. Anyway, you don't even know me in person, so how can you judge me based on my social life? In fact, even if you could judge me based on my social life, what does this have to do with the video? I mean, uh, your fucking banner says the anti-feminist ranter. Why? Why would you make a channel dedicated to hating a movement? It's just pathetic. Whether it be a movement which is bad or whether it be a movement which is good. This is coming from a guy who burns logic into people's brains. But anyway, you might have a point if I waste my time acting angry or stupid and trying to destroy a movement that is either dying due to people changing their viewpoints or nobody even cares about them and they are also a harmless group of individuals. Say, for example, Christians. But feminists are far from harmless. Wonder why? Because right now it is affecting men in a negative way. How so? Well, guess what law just passed in New York? That's right! Manspreading! And this is something that you should be outraged as a male. At least with crazy religious folk or any group of extremists, most of the time they don't even get their way like trying to ban gay marriage or abortion clinics. But feminists can get away with stuff like lying to people's faces with statistics that are absolute bullshit. And she gets to say that she's being attacked for no other reason than her gender. And the worst part is news media will defend that person. So tell me to stop dedicating my life to stop feminism is the same thing as the soldiers who fought on World War II should just let Hitler stomp on their backs. Sorry, bro. Why waste your time? Have variety. Discuss something other than, oh, feminism's bad. Did you hear this one woman? She said she hates men. That means feminism is bad. Didn't you realize that if a fringe element of the feminist movement is bad, and that means feminism's bad. But let's say a large chunk of the MRA say so. That's not even half accurate. Yes, sure, I do repeat some of the things I say about many feminists, but that's because feminists will bring up the same thing over and over again like the wage gap myth. But my fans don't really care about that much. But guess what? Each feminist video is entirely different. They will do something new that will piss me off and the best part is it's almost too easy to find stupid things related to feminism. However, I do in fact make videos about something other than feminism like my Chris Chan video, which ironically has over 8,000 views. But guess what? Having diversity in your videos doesn't really matter. Atheists like the guys from the Bible Reloaded make constant videos about Christianity. Teal Deer's videos is mostly anti-feminist videos. Both of them have lots and lots of viewers and subscribers. You, on the other hand, have only about 800 subscribers. And how long was this video made? Three months ago, you are res responding to my 300 sub special. So what is this telling you now? That I have more than 500 subs. And yes, I am aware that this is my 400 sub special. But like I said before, I had this one planned for weeks. You know, there's a good way to get subs and viewers. How about adding effort in your videos for starters? Or making a video that will shock people? I did this before! It get me viewers! I told people about my diarrhea problem! If I'm not careful enough to avoid mixing certain foods together, I will get diarrhea! And then I will end up going to the bathroom more times than I have to! And in a rare case scenario, I will end up shitting my underwear a little at night because of the diarrhea! It gotten me a good amount of views and a little bit of cash. So thank you, you fucking trolls, for giving me all that good old cash you played right into my hand. I wonder what else I should say for shock value. 
Like if I tell them I am tempted to put my dick inside of a car, would these people would even believe me? I guess some people will because the internet is full of morons. But let's say a large chunk of the MRA says something stupid. Well, that's justified. I'm not even an MRA. And if there's anything that the MRAs have said that is absolute bullshit, then I would point it out. But there hasn't been one case where I can find something that's even remotely illogical about their standpoints. You, on the other hand, have nothing on the MRAs. If you were to make a video on the MRAs, you would get your ass handed to you by Dr. Renma Cam. Seriously, look at this video. Among some of these people who seemed quite disappointed to find out that now I advocate feminism as an anarchist was a guy called Lachlan, and he runs a channel called Burn Coalition, which, according to the channel art, involves burning sense into morons. And he recently made a video, Burning Sense Into Me, which was titled, Throwing Cameron Off the Electric Unicycle. Uh, you could have responded to Saga of a Cat or something, but no, you could go with the 12-year-old emo kid, okay? <laughs> I suppose you're fucking 14 or something. Jesus. That's a shit title, Lachlan, and you should feel ashamed. The, the title of your video... <laughs> Is asterisk sob asterisk dot 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 burn coalition doesn't like me anymore colon apostrophe open bracket throwing Cameron off the electric unicycle is a fantastic title it's actually not bad on its own merits but it's fucking genius compared with your pitiful effort dick what a fucking five year old come up, could come up with sob burn coalition doesn't like me anymore sad face but they probably would discard it for something better because they wouldn't want to sound like a three-year-old. And given the fact that the video I'm responding to is my thoughts on feminism, in which he advocates feminism, and given the nature of this video, I'm going to denounce it, I'm well aware that's going to lead into people assuming that I'm this men's rights activist. So with that said, fuck men's rights, and fuck feminism too. Okay, so that leaves us with women's rights. Only. Sound like a feminist to me, bro. Fucking look like one and all. Both are stupid fucking ideas equally. Nice one, Sonny. Give me a dick. Wham! Sorry! Did you want that? <laughs> Did you think as a man you had a right to it? Well, that was a fucking stupid idea, wasn't it? But all jokes aside, the video is very good, and I suggest that you watch Dr. Renna McCann's video. Or hell, any of the YouTubers that I mentioned in my 300 subs video. Honestly, I thought you would have the decent logic to at least check out these people's channels and see what they have to say. That is literally trying to force the ideology that women are being paid less than men due to no other factors outside of sexism. And also... Which has been proven, you go on to say it's been debunked, the numbers been debunked, the idea of women being pay less has not been debunked, so... You're saying that the number is debunked, it's just that women are still being paid less because they have a vag between their legs. Well, I'm sure you managed to have any sources to back up your claims- OH WAIT YOU DON'T! You just dismissed my points entirely, and I am sick and tired of the fucking wage gap! Seriously, I shown a clip from Skeptor about the wage gap. A smart person would at least have a look at the fucking video. Way to go. The ideology that one in five women are going to be raped. Both, in fact, to be debunked. And let's not forget about other crazy ideologies. Citations, please. And let's not forget about other crazy ideologies, such as man slamming, man spreading, fan bossy, uh, sexism in video games, sexism in heavy men. The idea of sexism ever recurring in video games is so obscure, apparently. Because apparently trying to change a certain culture to fit somebody else's point of view because they're too sensitive should not have in no way have any negative feedback whatsoever. Seriously, you should rename yourself Bitch Coalition. And here's something crazy. Fart rape exists, according to feminist logic. And apparently all feminists believe that, supposedly. Well, I don't know about you, but feminists bitch and moan about just about anything. Would be no shock to see fart rape existing. 
Feminists will say anything that will be considered rape. Seriously, fart rape exists. Better be careful not to ask a woman in an elevator for some fucking coffee. I'm not even making this shit up. I'll take you it. All right. I am pro-feminism. I don't know if I'd call myself a feminist or not, but yes, I'm pro-feminism. So you are unsure that you're going to call yourself a feminist, however you support the ideology of feminism, and in your other video, which is basically, this is what an egalitarian looks like, apparently you have to say that feminism and egalitarianism is one and the same, which is absolutely false! Well, feminism is an egalitarian movement, so what he's saying isn't necessarily far-fetched. Okay, first of all, he is saying that egalitarianism is the same thing as feminism and not a branch of egalitarianism. Second of all, in theory, it might be true. However, in practice, it is not. We judge a movement, and I have to say this for the one millionth time, that we judge a movement based on its actions. And even then, the feminist beliefs are outright down-to-earth insane. For some odd reason, a woman cannot be sexist towards men because men hold all the power. And this is the part where they abandon the dictionary in order to justify it. Same thing applies to racism. But their own logic fails. So even by theory standards, feminism, or rather modern day feminism, not counting first or second wave feminism, is not a branch of egalitarianism, but rather a totalitarian ideology. I mean, to be honest, I don't think that if you're an egalitarian, that means you're a feminist, because, you know, in order to be a feminist, you've really got to believe in a patriarchy. Egalitarian is just the idea where everyone has to be equal, feminism has a little bit more variables than that. However, his general point that feminism is an egalitarian movement isn't really wrong. It is an egalitarian movement by its own definition, if you're going to pull the definition card. You know, it's been proven for fuck's sakes. And with what evidence? Oh wait, that's right, I'm dealing with someone who makes constant assertions every fucking time he makes a fucking video. It's an egalitarian movement, and also, harping on them, they're saying, ah, oh, well, you were unsure. Yes, in November, in November of 2014, he was unsure whether or not he's a feminist. He understood the movement, however, he was unsure whether or not he wanted to go out and label himself a feminist. A few months later, he made, this is what an egalitarian looks like, that's when he was a feminist. Is it really that hard to grasp? Well, geez, I don't know. If you start your video like acting like a total dumbass, it's kind of difficult to take him seriously. And absolutely fucking stupid. In fact, if you see any pro-feminist videos, they're gonna use this argument. If you believe in equality, then guess what? You are a feminist. And it would make no sense to oppose feminism since you are in support of equality. Therefore, feminism, equality, they're both the same thing. No, I'm not going to be anti-feminism because that's retarded and I want equal rights for everyone. You can still be in support of equality and not be a feminist and even go as far as to oppose feminism. Why oppose a movement which the main definition is for equality? Oh dear lord, I already explained to you in the original f a video with examples and your reaction is why oppose a movement by definition that is in support of equality holy fucking shit this is fucking I just explained to you that you can be for equality and go against feminism because feminists do not practice on what they preach Jesus fucking Christ, you're no different than every fucking feminist. You use your fucking holy bible to justify your fucking religion. That's right, I'm calling your group a religion because that's what it is. Yet, yeah, you know, the thing is, if you go against a movement, which is specifically saying that they want equal rights for people, then I don't think it's far-fetched to assume that might influence some character traits. Because people are so goddamn stupid to judge a movement based solely on belief in equality. See this picture here? 
The KKK must care for black people now! You know, since there is anti-feminists out there that, you know, take a dose of Buckley that do the whole victim-blaming thing. And by victim-blaming, you mean asking questions towards the victim if she was acting really reckless and stupid. Oh yeah, it's never the victim's fault for not locking the doors at night in order to prevent people from stealing your stuff! Just saying. Feminism can help men too! Oh my god! What? Oh my, that is insanity! But yes, it does help men too. He's talking about this link, and let me just say that I can counter this with so many links. It's not even funny. Seriously. I doubt he's going to be able to look at them all because he's probably too busy masturbating over Emma Watson. Just want to say, you say, oh, well, I can counter it with so many links. I've seen all your other videos. You refuse to give any links in the description and you respond to criticism like a fucking child. Oh, I'm not so sure if you should be pointing fingers because you don't even have a link. Some of my videos don't even have links, but that's because some of the videos that I'm responding to are the same arguments over and over again, and sometimes I don't even need to provide a link because it's just common logic. The worst part is you fail to see the irony. So no, you fucking fail. You don't respond to criticism very well. You don't give links. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! You fail. It, 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 I'm sorry, it's been proven. So, uh, have you done anything good for our society, anti-feminists, other than complain about every time a feminist does something? Well, Gamergate itself is not necessarily anti-feminist. There are plenty go. of those who are in fact anti-feminists, who are in support of Gamergate, and donated a little bit of money here and there to Mention organizations to prevent better. suicide and to stop world hunger. And also exposing feminist hypocrisy, such as Shirtgate. I love this guy's reaction when I mention Shirtgate. Not even a single comment. It's like he just nitpicks the ones he thinks can be debunked without even showing a link or two and responds. Very, very poorly. Oh, I need a Sarkeesian. Oh, fuck. Oh, AC Green. Fuck. No, that's all I hear out of you people is, Ah, this feminist did this, this feminist did this, this one did this, 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 this. And it's, it's like you're fucking my head. I, I understand. I, I really do understand. No. No, no, you don't. You don't understand jack shit. You're really, really loving the no true Scotsman fallacy right now. What? When did he use the no true Scotsman fallacy? He just said all he sees on Facebook is people that complain about Lacey Green and Anita Sarkeesian. Because we all know where this is going. Those two in particular does not represent feminism. So yeah. And plus he most likely never once even looked at an anti-feminist video explaining why we are against feminism. It's almost as if they have their heads shoved up up their own asses. You know, by saying... He never said they aren't feminists. <sighs> okay. Shut the fuck up about it. No, we're not gonna quote unquote shut the fuck about it because guess what? The feminists are trying their very best to shove down their ideology down our fucking throats. Seriously, feminists are just one step away of becoming just like the Mormons. Like they'll start knocking on your door one day and be like, hello, say. Are you a feminist? Please tell me where you find these feminists. And don't use Tumblr as an example. And why the fuck not? Alright, not real feminists. Okay, let's start with YouTube. And fucking BuzzFeed. If you can give an example that isn't just a fringe element, then okay. Walking on your door one day and be like, hello, say, are you a scenario. feminist? Well, that's too bad. Because, you know, feminism means equality. Now, do you support equality? Well, good. That means you are a feminist. What's that? 
you still oppose feminism? Well, I hate to say this to you, but you can't support equality. Therefore, you are a sexist bigot. And that girlfriend of yours shouldn't be living in the same roof of her with you. So, uh, we're gonna have to evacuate her from your sexist bigotry until you accept the feminist ways, okay? Thank you very much, you sexist bigot. I found the cure for autism, okay? It'll help you with this tremendously. Okay? <laughs> now you're calling all anti-feminists autistic. It's called all right, a joke. All right, all right. Jokes are supposed to be funny. That is not a joke. That is an insult. Learn your difference. I'm going to release the Kraken right now, all right? I am going to insult you so fucking hard. Oh, right? no. So listen up. You are a drooling, spineless, cowardly asswipe that lives in a puke green home that might as well be the mm, anus of the yeah, green giant. You look yes. and sound like mm. the offspring of Jonah yeah, Hill and Mr. Rex Young before he had a haircut. Yes. Mm. Everything about Give this video more. is basically an insult to humanity. Mm. I would rather be watching Dragon Tales mm. for an entire day just, than to hear more c words yeah, coming out of your mouth. And you are living proof place. that I there is no God because a human being so goddamn flawed as yourself could never exist in a million years. Our so old intelligent designer oh, would have to be in all sorts of drugs just to create someone like yourself if there is a cure for autism that cure would be for you okay um okay so you have issues with him referring to anti-feminists as autistic yet you're gonna call him autistic consistency doesn't matter much eh there's a difference between calling a group of people autistic and calling one person autistic and last time i checked didn't he act like this <laughs> I'm having a bad day, okay? Well, tell me about Onision 2.0. <laughs> My horse, named anti-feminism, died. And a bunch of autistic kids with clubs and bats beat him. Pot calling the kettle black much? He was dead, why? Why would you do this? Exactly. Why are you beating the dead horse that is anti-feminism? Yeah, way to go to call an entire group autistic based on a bunch of straw mans that you created. Bra fucking vo. Okay, um, you need to buy a Staples first. You can you can buy one. At, well, ironically enough, Staples, Office Depot, any real office supply store, maybe even Walmart has staplers. I don't know. I've never bought a stapler, but seriously, what sort of human being doesn't know where to find a fucking stapler? An autistic one. What you can do is you need to take it. You need to buy the staples too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would suggest big staples and a big stapler, but that's just me. I'm, you can buy any kind of stapler you want. It'll probably work, except for the small staples. Those really break easy, you know. All right, now here, the cure for autism is the stapler and the staples. You put them both together. Uh, you take your mouth and you do this. You take the stapler and you put it over your lips and you clamp down on it and it'll shut you the fuck up because no one cares about your anti-feminist views except for you and a few others. All right, so kindly shut the fuck up, have a nice day, and God bless. Dear fucking Christ. This is incredibly Stop the fucking static, stupid. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's a little baby afraid of a little static. Here, let me help you out with that phobia. <laughs> Woo! Fast music ever! And an insult to fucking humanity. And now I gotta make another video response because he made a video about how egalitarianism and feminism is the exact same you don't have to do a response to it. I, I, I take it you're doing the whole funny ranter thing where it's like, I am obligated to respond to these stupid people. Well, I do in fact have a small fan base that I need to entertain. If I want more viewers and subscribers, then I feel obligated to make videos on very stupid people, just like Emery Bowman. Too bad he removed all of his videos. I wonder what the hell happened. We get it. The stick is really funny. It makes 12 year olds laugh all the time. But you don't have to respond to him. You're right. I didn't have to make a video response to him. There are so many YouTubers out there that I apparently could make a video response to. But I chose to make a video response within my own free fucking will. I'm not going to respond to you responding to him. 
Uh, I've seen your response to his first video. It was perfect, solid, 10 out of 10, fresh. I, I, I've had enough spaghetti today. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be some sort of clever reference or something. Well, this is the end of the video, I suppose. Honestly, I never expect to get so many supporters in such a short period of time. Hell, some of the best YouTubers out there subscribe to me. One of them is Mr. Repsion. I mean, if I manage to get his subscription, then I know I can do more. Ah, fresh air. The sun is so nice today. Now I have a new problem. I have to find someone that is worth the 400 subs and 500 subs special. But who? Who could it be? Hello? Who is this? Oh, hey. How's it going? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You want me to make a video on who? Oh, the atheist gamer. What more can you say? I'm uh, not going to respond to the entire video. This is one short bit of it because I am mentioned in that bit. Oh, why? <laughs>